Man, it's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you live in the pink dust. Oh, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Man, get to you real rugged. That was some weak punches. But, hey, man, if y'all seen my last video about the girl, uh, I'm probably doing another update video if you want, but she never texts back. So, I just been playing um, James Blake. Uh, it's sad that you're no longer hard. It's sad that you're no longer that's that points, you know what I'm saying? I, I've been, hey, a nigga been blasting that throughout the house, man. So, nigga look, you know what I'm saying, man? Hey, I mean, we'll get to that later. Um, I come to here to talk about, um, but that's a great song. But no, um, I come to here to talk about something. And by the way, before I say it, I love all three of these rappers' music. But, like, the pure, real hip hop is kind of get me mad because they don't give these other dudes credits. And they listen to the same thing. So, I feel like these hip hop peers, niggas, only only sit on these like trap rappers because their beats are unconventional or their 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 beats are too con uh, conventional you know what i'm saying they need some some unconventional beats you know what i'm saying they need need some spearmint man where's the soul sample man hey man i want to hear eric badu sample in the background i don't like it you know what i'm saying so uh, i need some my angelo porchy in the background let me hear my rap i need some samples man so uh i feel like a lot of them complain about that so these are three rappers i'm gonna use Freddie, Gri Freddie Gibbs, 21 Savage, and Trouble. Trouble, Trouble. So, um, Freddie Gibbs. We're going to get Freddie Gibbs first. <clears throat> um, may or may not be a rapist. Who knows? <laughs> Neither here or there right now. Um, so, uh, yeah. Maybe, like, putting his unsolicited, unsolicited penis in vaginas. Who knows? But, that's neither here or there. What's here or there is he raps over unconventional beats. Let's take, oh, let's take Pinata, for example, where he really does it over the Mad Lib beats. I love Mad Lib, but he's rapping over these, like, uh, a lot of beats rappers wouldn't be able to rap over because it's crazy hard to get your flow off or whatever. So, hip-hop peers love that, one, because it's Mad Lib, and two, he's saying, uh, they say, oh, man, he's saying grimy, thug shit, you know, like, we love it, you know, it's so grimy, I can hear it, like on, like on, uh, what's the song, it's, I think it's called Deeper, when he be like, slang it, got a house of hair on in the back, uh, da, 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 da. I put some money on my J-Pay, that song, and he talking like really thug shit on there, you know what I'm saying, very, very nice, nice song, and, um, I feel like hip-hop people go crazy over that, but when 21 Savage drop a song like, um, Lord Forgive Me, that is the same thing, just not over the same type of beat, and he's more straight to the point. Like, what do you need? Well, you know, I don't hear a double entendre. Where's my triple entendre, man? I can't, I can't get jiggy to this, man. I can't get my jig bone on. Is that what you guys say? Because it's really weird. Like, Tuna Savage said some crazy shit on that song. Like, some very vivid shit. Nigga said, I remember not sleeping. Hit the club and get the squeezing. Shoot it up for no reason. I was living like a demon. I was living like a demon. That's straight to the point, and it's believable. Like, I can see Tuna Savage... Having a hard time to sleep because last night he ran inside a club and shot it up for no particular reason. Like, that's crazy. Like, nigga said that in the song in a very, like, like, throughout the rest of the song, he was very calm. Like, he's saying crazy calm shit in a crazy calm voice. Like, I pull up to your mama house and put some rounds in it. That's crazy. He doesn't have to put up to your house. He didn't have the DC to pull up to your house. Put up to your mother's residence and put some rounds in it. Like, that's crazy. And, like, hip-hop period, oh, this is too basic for me. Like, he's talking the same shit that Freddie Gibbs is talking, just on a very much straight-to-the-point uh, level. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, that's, that's crazy to me. So, I feel like uh, hip-hop peers, they have, they're big-headed. And, you know, they're like, oh, I can't listen to it if it don't got... Uh, a 35, 600 BPM, you know, it's too slow for me, you know, I need to do this to the song, you know, I don't, I don't want to do this to the song, I want to do this to the song, if I can't do this, I can't listen to the song, that's the type of niggas, you know what I'm saying, if you can get a little jiggy to the song, they don't want to hear it, so that's weird to me, and then you got trouble with a song like What Happened Little Gangsta, the same shit, he's dropping gems on the song, like he's talking to shit that you need to hear if you're in the street, What Happened Little Gangsta, a nigga ran up on your gangsta, don't tell me you ain't finna spank him. What happened, my love? I thought you thought you was a thug. Like, he's he's kind of embarrassing a nigga. Like, you, you was talking all this hot shit, and now you about to not do nothing when this nigga goddamn ran up on you? So that's, that's crazy to me, man. He's talking throughout this whole song about what's really gangsta and what's not gangsta. If you're going to be a gangster, you got to do this. You know what I'm saying? He's breaking down codes, and it's like people be like, oh, dude, it's too simple for me, man. You listen to it. So I honestly think that hip-hop peers... 
are big headed a holes that don't want to listen to uh, street music that don't have conventional rap beats. When I say conventional rap beats, I mean just like a straight forth, like hip, like a like a trap beat or something. You know what I'm saying? Because Twenty One Savage, Lord Forgive Me, is really one of my favorite songs of this year. Like that's a crazy song, and it really gets no love from the hip hop peers because you know, I don't know. Is it too simple for you guys? Like he's saying crazy shit on there. It's I don't know, man. Like the fact that he's so calm about fucking putting five um amp letting out five clips in my head he's just so calm rapping about it it's crazy so i don't know man y'all tell me what y'all feel until then y'all already know i say what i mean i mean what i say haters gonna hate it please gonna play a high at your bar man it's sad that you're no longer it's sad that you're no longer that's a crazy song